Hi guys, it's Kristen of Kristen's Art Cart, and I have a quick and easy drawing lesson for you today. Da -dum. Da -dum. Da -dum, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum. Sorry, I couldn't resist. <laughs> if you would like to do this shark with me, he is quick and easy and a great lesson for students age five and up. You don't need anything complicated for this lesson. I did it on copy paper. You will need a pencil and eraser, of course. I love to go over my pencil lines with a Sharpie. That's optional. And you can color it with crayons. It looks like I colored mine with crayons, but I actually used oil pastel. They're a fun medium. The result is often an awful lot like a crayon. They're a lot softer though, so it's easier to get a dark color without pressing hard. And um, it's a great one to color because of the two different tones of the shark. So if you draw this with me, it would be great, a great one to color or even paint, okay? We're going to draw this together using my drawing technique I call I draw, you draw. I draw step one, you draw step one. I draw step two, you draw step two. And before you know it, we will have a shark. Okay, when I draw this, I'm gonna use my marker so that you can see what I'm doing. But you will use a pencil and you will draw it light until you draw it right so that you can erase. We're gonna use a very light pencil stroke. Okay, are you ready? If you put your hand on the paper, there's a good chance your hand might be the same size as mine. I have small hands. Um, you want your shark to be about that big. He takes up most of the picture. He's the star of the show. So we want a big ovalish circle, a big oval in the middle of the paper. So something sort of like that. Then we're going to put a line straight across the middle. Then we're going to put two smaller ovals in the top part of our oval for his eyes. Now I'm going to have my shark looking down because there's going to be some fish down here that he's gonna to wanna to eat. So I'm gonna put my lines in my eyes like that. And I'm going to give him a big smile because he's happy he's going to murder and eat those fish. And also so we can see his shark teeth. So we're gonna put a big smile. And then we're gonna fill that mouth with shark, jagged, shark teeth. We're going to give him that signature shark dorsal fin up on the top, the back of his head. Well, it's actually on his back. We can see it coming up from behind his head. That's what we see in the water if you're very unlucky. And then we're gonna put a fin on each side and then just line, line. And there we have our big got his nose. Boop, boop. Just two dots. They just had those little holes for their nose. Now we're going to put some sand at the bottom of the ocean. We're going to put some seaweed that our fish may have the opportunity to, to hide in. I'm going to put that one going behind his fin. Put a little bit of seaweed on this side. Just a ziggy, ziggy, ziggy line up, zig, ziggy, zig line down. Then we're just gonna do that fun little trick for fish. Did you ever do this? I bet all of you have. Just a loop-de-loop -loop and a line. Loop-de-loop -loop and a line. Loop-de-loop -loop and a line. And these guys are smiling. They have no idea what's behind them. These guys up there, I'm gonna put a couple fish up here and they're gonna have like their mouths open like like they're yelling, there's bubbles coming out of his mouth. Maybe they're frowning. They're saying, let's get out of here. There's a shark. And then I'm just gonna put some water line and I'm gonna let his little dorsal fin be just sort of 
Maybe he has some bubbles too. That is all you need to do to draw a shark, guys. How easy was that? When you color your shark, of course, you can think of gray and white, like the great white shark, like Jaws. Paint his mouth, color his mouth black. You can color your sand and then if you did the flamingo lesson with me, perhaps you drew sand with me and you just dot, 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 dot with black. You can maybe dot on with the crayons. Told you this was a quick and easy lesson. That's all there is to it. I hope you liked it and I'll see you next time. Have a great day. Bye-bye.